in the previous video I have uh, tested the example from Hamster uh, on the FPGA code to initialize an uh, SD card and what I'm going to do now is try to simulate this program using uh, Xilinx uh, ISC navigator and the simulator that comes with it and it's not too hard so here is my uh, uh, my VHDL code what I need to do to create a uh, test bench is add new source say that it's going to be a VHDL test bench I'm going to call it DB for test bench and then SD card underscore test to mimic the object name that's under test uh, I know that there is a file existing already because I have done this before but that doesn't matter I'm just creating the default structure for that test bench not going to change it uh, what this code does is uh, it declares the component under test uh, it is going to instantiate it here and we're going to send it some uh, clock pulses on every clock pulse it will do some activities I'm not going to change any of this code I'm just going to use it as is so I'll now select that test bench code and run the simulator here it is uh, simulator starts with uh, the default screen I'm going to run it for 1000 microseconds uh, restart everything so that we have a fresh screen run it for that time there we go and then maybe I can pause it now and have a look at what happened um, we see here the initialization code uh, from hamster uh, we should be able to see uh, clock signals uh, that are sent this is the simulated system clock this is the clock sent to the SD card uh, and then let's have a look at the different pieces of data that we're sending out here you can see the values of the fields uh, that we are sending um, and in if we run back or further in time we will see the behavior changing based on the sequence that hamster has built into his example uh, so there is a sequence here of all uh, all ones and all ones with the uh, least significant bit zero but when we go further this will change so I've run this program a bit further for a longer time and now we can see that the first part of the initialization has uh, uh, been uh, past and there are some interesting things happening here note that there is no SD card attached so we don't have real data but it shows what the program is doing what it's trying to send to that uh, SD card and what I'm trying to show here is that simulating your VHDL code is not that difficult at least to start with once you try to simulate real uh, situations it becomes more difficult but just to get this up and running for uh, simple simulations is a straightforward activity.